A lot of people are not going to agree with this video, but my goal here is not to discuss every little option or feature out there, but rather I want to simplify your life so that you can just go to work and build high value websites. So in this video, I'm going to explain why currently, as I'm recording this video, the best stack to create professional website is Reloom, then Webflow, then Make. Let's start with Reloom. Reloom started out as a component library, but very quickly developed into a tool that helps you first create sitemaps and then turn them into full wireframes, including writing the copy for you. Now, if you're looking to build a real website, one that achieves business goals, you can't really just take a template and just replace some of the images and some of the text. You need to actually think about the structure of the site and what sections and components you need on each page. And you need to have that content aligned with the client goals. You need to actually go ahead and talk to your clients, discuss it with them, get feedback, and then revise the sitemap and the wireframes before you dive into the design and development. Now, prior to Reloom, this required me to manually go ahead and create sitemaps and wireframes in tools like Figma or other tools, and then send them to the clients to get feedback. But Reloom has completely changed the way that I work, and it enables me to deliver the same kind of high level service, but at a fraction of the time. Now, recently, Reloom has also launch a new feature that's trying to help designers come up with a visual design of creating mood boards and giving you options for color and typography. And I can already tell that this is going to be very, very helpful. Now, when I'm ready to move into the next step, I can either export my wireframes to Figma if I want to continue refining the design, or if I'm ready to develop the website, I can just export it directly into Webflow. So now it's time to talk about Webflow. Now, if you're not familiar with Webflow, Webflow is what I think the most powerful no code tool for websites, which means that you can build a very, very complex website that includes robust content management system and the most advanced animation engine in the market, and also includes a secure and fast hosting. Now you might be thinking, but what about what about WordPress or Framer or maybe the new Wix studio? So let me explain my choice. Let's start with WordPress. Yes, of course, you can build a professional complex website on WordPress. I'm not denying that most of the internet still runs on this platform. But what I do think is that this is not because it's the best choice or the best platform, but rather just because most of the world is lagging behind technologically. And most people are afraid to try new things until it's just too late for their own good, right? I personally hate working with WordPress. And I do know a lot of people that still use WordPress, but I can't say that anybody uh, any of them actually enjoy it, right? And with all the drama that's been happening recently in the WordPress community, using WordPress actually becomes not the safe choice, but rather the most risky choice for your future and your website. So next is Framer. First, I wanna say that I actually love Framer and I think that it's really, really a great tool. And I think that they're heading in a very interesting direction, which I think that can be a great fit for a lot of people. While Webflow is trying to position themselves as the most powerful and pro tool, Framer are working to position themselves as the most easy and intuitive tool that can help you build a great website. And I think that for many web designers, this can actually be a great choice, which is you know why we teach Framer in Flux Academy. And we do recommend it to people that we think this is a good fit for. But if you're aiming to build big and complex websites, like for example, the website of Flux Academy, right? And these are the types of websites that clients usually pay four or five, maybe even six figure for, then there's still no competition to Webflow, which is why I'm recommending it in this video. And that's what I use myself. Also, Reloom, which we talked about earlier, can only export at the moment to Webflow, which makes, if you want to use Reloom, it makes Webflow your perfect choice. Lastly, the new kid on the block is Wix Studio, which is basically the reincarnation of Editor X, which is Wix's effort to compete with Webflow in the professional space. Now here, I do want to say that I think that Wix is actually a very interesting company. I have many friends working there and even family working in Wix. And so in the long run, I think that this may be a very interesting tool, mainly because Wix has a huge ecosystem of apps and plugins and e-commerce capabilities. But at the moment, I think that this tool is a little bit still immature compared to the others that we've covered so far. And it's still what I would call like work in progress. So keep an eye on it. But if you do need to build something super powerful today, 
I would still use Webflow. Now, next and lastly, a complex website never lives on its own. It's always connected to other parts in the business systems, whether that's a CRM where the leads are being added after you submit a form or an email marketing platform. Now, the way to connect your website to other platforms is using an automation tool. There are basically two options in this space, Zapier, and make. And they're both great and can achieve mostly the same things. So we used Zapier for years, but about a year ago, we've migrated to make basically for two reasons. Number one, make is cheaper than Zapier. And if you have a website with lots of traffic and lots of automations, the cost can actually add up. And number two, make is a little bit more powerful and allow for even more customization that is enabled by Zapier. That being said, in terms of UI, I do feel like Zapier is easier to work with. Um, and so, as I said, they're most likely the same and you can use both of them, but we're happy with make. And so that's why I can recommend it in this video as part of what I would call the perfect stack for pro website. So now, you know, next, if you're interested in learning how to actually design and develop high value websites, check out the other videos or the resources below this video, and I'll see you on the next video.